Ghost Pokemon only spawn during the nighttime in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. But what if I told you you could use a sandwich power to spawn them during the day and that sandwich power was only actually going to make shiny Pokemon spawn? Well, in fact, that's what we're going to go over in today's video. So stay tuned. We're going to go through everything so you can get shiny ghost Pokemon super easy and as many of them as you want. But before we get into today's video, please subscribe to the channel. Remember, you can always unsubscribe later if you'd like to. So there has been a glitch discovered in the games. It doesn't really involve doing anything outside of the normal practices of the game, which makes it quite interesting. We're just taking advantage of a mechanic that is already in place for ghost Pokemon and kind of using another mechanic to force this mechanic to produce these encounters when they're not meant to be spawning, which then in turn creates shiny Pokemon. And what we're talking about is in game, you can use Herbamistica to boost sparkling power on certain types of Pokemon. One of them is Ghost Pokemon. Obviously, every single sandwich can be made for every single type. But if we create one for Ghost Pokemon and then we go hunting Ghost Pokemon in a specific area, because those specific Ghost Pokemon aren't meant to be spawning during the daytime is when we're going to be doing it, the only Pokemon that actually spawn in their place is going to be shiny Pokemon. Now, you are going to have to be in the post game of your playthrough to do this. You'll have had to complete the game. You're going to have access to five and six star raids and Herba Mystica in particular. Now, the first thing that we're going to want to do is make sure that it is daytime in our game. We need to make sure it's daytime. We can't do this at night. It just won't work the same way. So if you're like me and it is nighttime in your game now, you've got two options. You can sit and wait until it turns to day. The night cycle is about 30 minutes dawn and dusk is about five minutes each side so you you know roughly how long you'd have to wait in game for this to kind of take over or alternatively what you can do is just come down save your game and then you can use the date skip glitch to change the time of day and it's a bit tricky because you have to get the kind of timing right so you know you're taking full advantage of that sandwich power through the entire day and daytime being about 35 40 minutes so you have to be pretty spot on now where the moon was in the sky i'd say probably we're looking at about 15 minutes so if we say 20 minutes forward on our time we don't need to skip the date forward at all we just need to come to our time and we'll go 20 minutes forward that should take us into daytime in our game so we'll come back to our home menu and we'll boot up and we'll see how close we were so we were right so we're good to start this uh, the first thing that we're going to want to do is set up a picnic now you're only going to need a couple of ingredients for the sandwich that we're going to create and it is going to involve having red onion and also two salty Herba Mystica. That's all you're going to need for this. It may take a little while to get the, the Herba Mystica, but the red onion is available in any of the kiosks, the deli kiosks around the, the Paldea region. You'll be able to find them, no problem at all. So when we come into the sandwich menu, you want to press your X button creative mode and then come down and pick red onion as one ingredient. And then the other ingredient you're gonna need is the salty Herba Mystica. And then we can put our sandwich together. Three red onion. Do you ever think about how these sandwiches would taste? Ooh. Right, there we go, a Tasty Osiris original. And uh, you'll see once the sandwich is done, we get sparkling power of course, tidal power of course, which it gives you increased chances of getting marks and then that encounter power ghost as well, which is exactly what we need. So we're all done setting up the picnic and we wanna be making our way to area zero is where we're gonna to wanna to be going. And uh, I think area zero is just behind us. I had to do it outside of area zero because I needed to see the sky. I needed to be able to tell what time of day it was for us to do this. Now you wanna just come in to area zero and you wanna head down to area four or area three, whichever one you prefer, because we're gonna be heading down into the, the deep part of the crater but I don't want to be going deep, deep down into it. And it's probably easier to go from this side rather than going from the bottom up. So as you see, we will just head into this area. And what you'll notice is when we come into this cave, there will be no Pokemon at all spawning in here, like none at all, which is really irregular for when you come into this area because normally this has got Pokemon everywhere. What we want to be doing is looking for a Fluttermane. And Fluttermane, we're using this technique through the day 
will only spawn a shiny in this area. Nothing else will spawn, just a shiny. So that's what we're looking for. And that is all that's gonna spawn for 30 minutes. No other flutter mains, no regular flutter mains. For some reason, it is only gonna be the shiny flutter main. So it's a great take advantage of to get yourself a shiny flutter main, which is such a great, strong paradox Pokemon, you know? And there is a technique what you can use to kind of try and just force spawn them as well. Like you can come to an open area like this. We'll just dismount and we'll use the ZL target button. And you'll see if you walk around, regular flutter main are kind of spawning in. There's like glitches spawning in. And that's the regular flutter main spawning in. But because it's, there's one there. But because it's daytime, there's another one there and another one. Because it's daytime, they can't spawn in. And all we need to do really at this point is wait until a shiny pops up. And we can just keep hitting the ZL button, seeing these glitches pop up, which are the regular flutter main. But after a little while, we will undoubtedly get a shiny flutter main that will spawn into this area. This is it's such a nuts glitch. And there we go, we've got our first shiny. So there it is. There it is. Can we hit it? We can. It's advisable if you've got Dusk Balls. Uh, I don't, unfortunately. I should have had Dusk Balls, but if you've got Dusk Balls because you're in a cave, it will make it easier catching these Pokemon and speed the whole process up. And there we go. First one in our party. So that's good. Let's see how many more we can get. And this is literally like, a couple of minutes after starting this, this is madness that we get it so quick. I wasn't expecting it to happen so quickly, but again, what we'll do is we'll just stand here and we will just wait. And there we go, we've got a second one. So that's perfect. We can just try and catch this one. And well, it's gonna be interesting to see how many shinies we can get, but it's literally this easy for getting shinies of their uh, flutter men. And I'm not sure if this can be used in other areas for other ghost types. I'm assuming that you probably can use it. And you would think as well, because it's a sort of glitch, that these Pokemon are gonna be all kind of the same, like uh, repeats of all of the other ones, like clones of all the other ones. But that is not the case. These are all independently spawned, separate spawned Pokemon. They're all gonna have unique IV spreads, all gonna have unique terror types and natures and things like that so you don't need to worry about them being like a duplication it's not a duplication of a pokemon of a shiny one these are all independently spawned it's just a weird mechanic of the game and how it is being used in a way with another mechanic to just spawn this this shiny spawn by itself there we go critical catch that's what we're relying on that's number two though and it will will happen there we go see number three straight away and straight in there with that critical catch so we can get back on the horse and uh, see how many shinies we can get and there we go there's number four here we go okay there we go critical catch and that's our fourth flood i'm in which is just absolutely nuts so you guys are going to have a lot of fun with doing this and I, uh, I do think that this probably will get patched out in the next update because I don't think the interactions are meant to act like this. There's, a, there's another one. Can we get it though? Can we get it? <laughs> it's in the crystal. Oh no, it's not. It's just higher up. Can we climb up there and get that? Oh, where's it gone? Don't say it's despawned. No, it's not. Okay, we can climb and get it. We can climb and get it. There's number five. There we go. Okay. Number six. Ideal. So that is madness. Can we get the critical catch on this first one? The failure. And that's number six, which is just nuts. Say, oh, I think, I think there's something happened. I think we've got our days timed wrong and it's ticked over into night now. So we went a little bit too far with our timing. And you can see now that these flutter mains have spawned in. So this is why I, I say it's good to get your timing right. And if we look at our clock now that we've got left, we've got eight minutes left. So we've just a little bit too over the top with our timing. If we'd been, if we just moved it like 10 minutes forward, that would have been perfect. Then we could have taken full advantage of the actual daytime 
when it's said. So it's ticked over into night now. If we go outside, it will be nighttime for sure. Um, and this is why we're getting all these Fluttermains spawning in now. Now you can still take advantage of this ghost power and just run around. You're not going to be able to just spawn in shinies randomly and they're not going to just despawn by themselves any longer. But you can still wander around the area if you've got time left on your sandwich power and try and make the most of it um, to see if any more shinies will spawn in randomly uh, if, if you are in a situation like this. But just be a bit more careful with when you're putting your clock forward. It might even be better just to sit and wait like 20 minutes or 15 minutes if it is 15 minutes to make sure that you know you're spot on with your timing to change the date if you're a little bit worried. So that's the only drawback, but it's probably a good example to kind of show in this video so you can be aware of the, the situation that you could find yourself in if you don't do that clock right and do it very at the very beginning of the day. Right, that is our sandwich power up. 30 minutes is done. All right, we ended up with six in total, which is absolutely madness. So six we go. And you can see all of the IV spreads are completely different here. Uh, there, and there is none that have any the same. And if we go into their summaries as well, we can check if they've got any marks as well. So we'll be able to see uh, the, the stats, like I say, are all different for all of them. So they are all unique Pokemon. So we've got the mark for a sociable Pokemon. We'll use this or that. That's quite cool. So there we go. This one doesn't have one. And we do have a mark of sociable Pokemon. So flood them in the sociable is what we've got for this one. Two marks out of this six. For the amount of time that we spent in there, knowing that we had probably 10 minutes where we lost because we did the day and night cycle wrong, I think we could have probably got quite a few more of these. So, you know, the chances of going in there and getting a bunch of these shinies, you've got a really good chance. And it is something thing that is just a, a glitch within the mechanics of the game at the minute you're not having to do anything out of the ordinary you're doing normal things in game you're setting a sandwich power that you would normally do you're just setting it at a different time of day than you normally would and going into an area where you would normally hunt this pokemon that you're setting the sandwich power for so really in hindsight it is just a glitch with the mechanics of the game like i say i do think this will get patched but We'll see what happens, but take advantage of it while it can and get yourself some of these very cool, shiny Paradox Pokemon and uh, you can get yourself a few of them as well. So I hope you found today's video helpful. If you have, please drop a like and uh, if you're new to the channel, make sure you do subscribe for more Pokemon Scarlet and Violet content coming on the channel. Thank you so much for tuning in, friends. I'd love to hear if you've been down and grabbed yourself a Fluttermin using this technique down in the comment section below and uh, good luck if you do try. So thanks for tuning in. Have a great one and until the next one, take care. Bye-bye.